Hello sweet friends and welcome back to our kitchen. Today I've got two awesome recipes to share with y'all. One of them is kind of like a little dessert or appetizer. It's going to be so good. Mr. Bunky is very excited for this one. And then I also have an awesome crock pot recipe that we have never tried. This is a new recipe to us and we're so excited. It is a true dump and go. So I'm going to get that on first and then we're going to get into our second recipe. Okay, so we are making crock pot ranch chicken, which y'all know is like right up our alley. So to make this, all you're going to need is some chicken breast, some baby carrots, a little can of these chopped green chilies, one can of cream of chicken soup. I got the one with herbs just to add a little bit more flavor. You'll need a packet of ranch seasoning, some chicken stock, and then also some potatoes. You can use like the red potatoes or like the yellow gold. Either one is totally fine. We're going to go ahead and get our chicken in the crock pot. It says to season it with salt and pepper, but y'all know I love 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 this kinder's garlic and herb with sea salt and lemon on chicken and i just think with these like ingredients it's gonna be so good so i'm gonna use this instead of salt and pepper and then we're gonna kind of add our potatoes carrots and then mix together these ingredients and just pour it right over top and first things first go ahead and kind of lightly spray your crock pot For these potatoes, the way the recipe reads, it sounds like you can just kind of throw these in there whole if you want to, but I'm just going to cut ours in half. Okay, so now we're just going to mix together our cream of chicken soup, our chopped green chilies. The recipe calls for just like half a cup of chicken stock, so I'm just going to eyeball this if there's a little extra. I think that's a-okay, that looks good. And then one packet of ranch seasoning, which is the star of the show. Okay, we're gonna pour this right over the top and then pop a lid on this and you can cook it on low for like eight hours or you can cook it on high for about four hours, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'll check this here in a little bit and probably give it a good stir. Y'all, I cannot wait for dinner. That is gonna be so, so good. And it was like the most simple thing to make. I can't wait to try it. Like all those flavors just sound so good to me. But we're gonna get started on this second recipe. And if you remember from this video right here, we made those cinnamon sugar cream cheese bars and all of us love them. Like so many of y'all told me that you made them and you and your family were like obsessed just like Bunky and I were. Well, I saw this recipe that we're gonna make today and it's like the exact same thing same concept except for it's lemon bars which to me is just like the most perfect summertime little appetizer or dessert they're gonna be delicious but before we jump into this recipe, I am so excited to say a big thank you to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, like this is such a big deal to me. You know how much I love Walmart. I shop there every single week, all the time, and I'm so excited to get to partner with them today on this video. I ordered some new things, so let me show you what I got. Okay, first thing that I got is this beautiful white and beige ceramic table lamp. This is from the brand Mainstays. It is so, so pretty. And y'all, the Mainstays line at Walmart, I feel like it's so affordable and you can find some great, great items in that line. Um, but I got this lamp for our guest bedroom upstairs. So y'all know I've been trying to make that feel as cozy and like welcoming as possible since we have lots of friends and family who come and stay with us. So when I saw this one, I thought it was so beautiful and perfect. It's neutral coastal i don't know but still so so like elegant and beautiful this lamp is 17 inches tall and it was 29.88 and it is going to look perfect on that bedside table in our guest bedroom okay next up i got this candle from better homes and gardens and y'all that line is probably my favorite in walmart there are so many pieces around our house that are the better homes and gardens line it is just 
beautiful every single like season they come out with like better and better things i feel like but when i saw this candle and it was called palm leaves and papaya i was like i gotta have that candle coastal beachy but like i could just envision the smell almost and it just like reminds me of a tropical paradise and then it actually has a wood um wick which i don't even think i've ever had a candle with a wooden wick before so i'm so excited to burn this um but let me tell you, so it says palm leaves, pink papaya, mango, coconut, and coconut bark scent notes. Like, oh my goodness. It smells so good. It's like not overly sweet, but it has this beautiful like subtle sweetness to it. But also kind of like clean, y'all. It smells so good. <laughs> okay, I don't even feel like I'll be able to hold this bad boy up or show you. I haven't opened the box yet because I had to like have some way of containing all of this. Maybe you'll be able to see it, I don't know. But I also got the Home Edit 11 piece pantry set. And y'all, we need something to organize this pantry so bad. It comes in this big old box. I can't hold that and talk to y'all, but I will open it and show you all the different things. So there's 11 pieces and you guys know, like this is all we have as far as pantry goes and things are just shoved in there. I cannot even tell what we have in this pantry. So I have kept telling Bunky, like I need something to organize this. And I love all the home edit stuff. And I have a couple of their other pieces from this line that's like exclusively sold at Walmart. And we love it. So I was like, I'm getting the home edit pantry thing. And that 11 piece set is $63 and they have all kinds of different ones. There's like stackable bins. Um, they're all like different shapes and sizes. So you can really like customize your pantry to make it fit your needs. But anyway, I know it is no secret to y'all how much I love Walmart. Whether I'm going there to find cute and stylish clothes and shoes, I do feel like I find the best shoes there or comfy pajamas, things for the camper, beautiful home decor. I literally go there for everything and I will have everything that I talked about linked down below in my description box for y'all so you can go and easily shop it. But let's get back to cooking. Okay, Bunky is down here to help us make the lemon bars. Tasty treat. So excited. So first thing we're gonna do is get a can of our um, crescent rolls. I just got the dough sheets. If you have like, you know, the other kind, just pinch your seams together. But we're gonna actually lay down one sheet and then bake it for seven minutes before we put our cream cheese filling. Yeah. So you open that. What is that? What was that? I don't know, but you know the smoke detector was going off in the camper the other day. Yeah, so that's really weird. <laughs> well, so, something was beeping. Oh, oh was, was it the, the crock, crock pot? pot? <laughs> it was the crock pot. Oh my god. Oh, Bunky. I was like, no way they both were. Well, I guess it's, you know, time for dinner, so we better get these lemon bars going so we can have dessert. Yeah, that'll be fine just to sit there for a few minutes. Okay. Ooh. That is so funny. So I have the oven. Um, already preheated to 350. Okay, going in for seven minutes. Y'all, my old camera died like in the middle of me filming today. So this is actually my new camera and we are hoping that we will no longer have any like color issues where it's so blown out and bright and you guys can't see. This camera is not supposed to do that, so fingers crossed so far we love it now it's looking it's looking real good it looks really good from i'm this, so excited from this side of the lens so okay far. so the bunky video has just got an upgrade <laughs> yeah um okay so for our mixture that's going to go into our lemon bars you're going to put two packages of softened cream cheese now you're going to want to we only have a package and a half so that's what we're going with by the way mm -hmm. but if you have two whole packages you do that recommend the two whole packages yes but y'all know if you remember whenever we made those cinnamon and sugar cream cheese bars we cannot find our handheld mixer yeah since we moved we still can't find it so i'm gonna make bunky give me some like manpower <laughs> well you know what i'm so thankful for what for one of the first times ever, we actually have allowed this cream cheese to, to soften I have, appropriately. Bunky, I sat this out for so long because I was like, otherwise your arm is gonna be burning. Okay, 
So to your two softened cream cheeses, you're gonna add in half a cup of granulated sugar, and then you're gonna add in vanilla extract. Okay, so one teaspoon. Whoa. See, got a little extra. Mm -hmm. No biggie. Now, we've got to zest and juice our lemons. I'm pretty sure we got this zester off of Amazon and it is so good. Like when I tell you, it is like so smooth and sharp and it just like takes that zest off like nothing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'll try and link it. You know that, yeah, you can just you can just set it right across the top of the bowl there, and that way you got a nice, firm, sturdy surface. That is smart. Okay, so all the lemon zest. You gotta save some for your topping as well. Yeah, and don't go too deep on that. Right. Oh, you're doing excellent. Thank you, Monkey. And honestly, y'all, you can make this to like the lemoniness. Is that a word? The mm -hmm. lemon the lemon and any ness. How citric. Wow. However lemony you want. That smells so fragrant. Oh my god. It smells so good. Okay, so that we don't get any seeds in here, we're gonna use our handy dandy juicer. That matches the fruit. Oh my. I know. That was a juicy lemon. No kidding. Oh my gosh, look at all the seeds. That's why I love this thing. It gets all your seeds. There is no way you're putting in a whole nother lemon juice in there. I know, here's my thing. It does say to definitely do the juice of two lemons because that's so juicy. I say you start whipping that together, and if we feel like we need extra, then we'll add in the extra we'll one. We'll give it a little taste test. Yeah. We gotta do the whole change our angle here. <laughs> Man, this smells good though. I know, it really does. Maybe we should just um go to Walmart actually and get a new handheld mixer yeah. and microwave. <laughs> the old microwave. <laughs> How many months has it been now we've been microwaveless? Almost six. Might as well keep we, going. We've made it this far, you know. This is a little bit of a cottage cheese consistency. It's because we need the handheld mixer. <laughs> but I think once it bakes, you know, like it's going to be oh. fine. We'll switch to the left hand here for a second. Okay, Bunky just takes tested it and he said that he thinks we need a little bit more lemon juice so let me finish zesting and then i'll put your juice in there oh yeah that is definitely the consistency you're looking for okay so we're just gonna pop that on top of our pre-baked pre-baked crescent dough sheet yes i'm so excited for that dinner by the way it's been smelling so good all day i can't wait to try it you're telling me girl <laughs> okay since we don't have a microwave we gotta figure out how to melt some butter <laughs> should have set the butter out earlier when you set this out yeah that's what i should have done now with your leftover lemon zest and you do want to have kind of a good amount so that you have all of those nice little lemon zest flakes on top so like people know what they're about to bite into you're going to add about three um tablespoons of sugar and then stir that together and once we pour that melted butter on top we will sprinkle this and then bake it Let's see if i can do as good of a job as you did monkey you want to know something funny yeah i thought of a joke a second ago oh gosh what is it are you ready yeah you're the zest monkey I don't think anybody's ever sold that one before. I think that's an original. That's a Bunky original. I think you're Bunky, you're, Bunky. You're the zest. You're my, you're my zest friend. <laughs> I love it. Might be a little bit doughier there on. That's okay. Just try and get those like sides all the way. Yeah. Full coverage? Full coverage. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so this is going into the oven at 350 for 30 minutes until it is golden brown on top. Ooh wee! How many, how long? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? That'll be good though, so we can eat our dinner. Oh, oh so excited. Okay, let me take y'all over here. Have you already shown this over here? No, y'all, this has smelled amazing all day, okay? It looks so good. These potatoes are so fork tender. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be delicious. Um, so Bungie doesn't want it shredded, so I'm probably just gonna give him like a piece of chicken and drizzle this sauce all over the top of it. Yes. You can shred it, leave it in chunks, whatever you want. The, oh, look at that. Carrots are fork tender. See, this is what I was feared was gonna happen. <laughs> You can't really get chicken out of a crock pot without it, cut, you know, falling apart. But I'll give it to you in big, two big chunks. Or, or three big chunks. Or four. I told you this was gonna happen. I, that, that, oh my gosh, look at that. It's almost like gravy in there. Yeah, oh, we're gonna drizzle that all over the top. Hmm. Y'all, does that not look so good? This is like a cozy, hearty, mm, something good kind of dinner. And so easy. We really haven't eaten a lot today, so Donkey and I both are so hungry. The hangry, oh. Or right through the hanger. Right through it. A little potato. That is delicious. Is it delicious? Oh yeah. Like one of your favorite crock pot recipes? It's definitely up there. I, I haven't even tried it and I feel like it's gonna be. That is good. Like when you put carrots and potatoes together mm -hmm. in this combination, I'm all about it. And then like how you were saying the sauce is almost like a gravy. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. This is fantastic. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna make my bowl, eat some dinner with Bunky. Look at mm. Daisy made back there, she's so sweet. I and mean, then we have dessert on the way. And then we'll have dessert. I am full as can be. That was so good. And something else I wanted to tell y'all, I forgot that I put those little green chilies in there and they give so much flavor. Not any heat. Like, I didn't think it was spicy, did you? No. Not spicy at all. It's a very all. subtle undertone. It's just like some good flavor. So yeah. I feel like the, that like made the dish as well. It was amazing. Bunky just checked our lemon bars. They have just like a couple minutes left, but he said, oh my gosh, these are gonna be incredible. They're looking beautiful. And then I, I feel like we're like a pastry chef after doing this. Well, they're so easy. Like anybody can be a pastry chef, you know? Like that's what I love about easy, amazing dessert recipes that turn out so good, you know? Yeah. Um. Anyway, once we pull these out, they've got to cool for 20 minutes and then you put them in the refrigerator for like an hour or so. I just told Bunky that and he was like, you are kidding me. I was mm. like, no. He's like, Bunky, I want to eat them now. But I probably need a good little break in between because yeah. I just had so much of that stuff. Bunky got seconds, like a whole nother bowl of yeah. that stuff. It was so good. <laughs> Looks like you're calm, man. Wow. You're apparently so strong, you only need one oven mitt. I think you'll get one it hand, now. one oven mitt. <laughs> oh. Wow, this looks incredible, Bunk. And y'all, our entire house smells like a bakery. Mm -hmm. It is the sweetest. It like reminds me, like. I don't know how to explain it. It's just so sweet and warm and cozy. It's like cheese lava, cream yeah. cheese lava fields. Man, oh man. This, look at this side. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Okay, we can turn the oven off now. This is gonna hang out for 20 minutes and then we're gonna pop it in the fridge for a little bit, for as long as we can hold out. But you know what I love? Tell the me. sugar on there like crystallized and it just looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see this goodness? Oh my goodness. Bunky, I don't even need a plate. 
I'm just gonna hold it with my hand and eat it. Wow. This looks impeccable. I wish I hadn't gotten that extra. You, you changed clothes on us. <laughs> yeah, I did. I had to get into a more comfortable shirt, you yeah. know. That one was really restricting my expansion. Yes. Mm. Oh my gosh. Do I have cream cheese all over my face? Yeah. Over there in the corner. Mm-hmm. Wow. You mm. can really taste the lemony freshness in here. Yeah. Lemon bars is one of those things that like we never cook for ourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. So whenever I come across them at a, at a gathering of some sort, mm -hmm. I'm always so excited to try them. This is so good. This is really, really good. You know what I like? It's so lemony and fresh, but also the sugar kind of like balances out. So mm -hmm. it's not like so overpowering or like tart. It's perfect. I feel like we could have done just a little bit more sugar on top. Me too. Like, I feel like we, we went a little bit light on the sugar. However, still amazing. Amazing. I'm glad we have a whole entire batch of these because this is going to be breakfast and after lunch dessert. <laughs> and after dinner dessert tomorrow. Yes. Oh my gosh. Y'all have to try these. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, but I love y'all so much. Thank you for hanging out with us in the kitchen. I will link both of these recipes down below for y'all as well as all of my Walmart finds. So be sure you head down there, check out all of those links. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.